Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters. Just so you know, this is a page I did a while ago. Victor Lock Demon Noir became a one shot. So we just put everything into that one book. So this page and a few others you might see on this channel uh, didn't make it in there. Today I'm going to actually be doing a little bit of ink wash. This is a page from Victor Lock Demon Hunter Demon Noir Part 2. And uh, I am doing the first page, actually. This is Victor and Rebecca, and uh, they're having a little bit of conversation. I actually drew this page a while ago, and uh, I'm just now getting around to uh, doing the ink wash for it. I'm actually going to really kind of take my time with this book and uh, really kind of take everything I learned from the first book and apply it to this one. I was considering doing this one in alcohol marker in grayscale alcohol marker but I decided that since I had already started this on watercolor paper I would continue doing this uh, in uh, ink wash and uh, this is the Canson XL watercolor paper that everybody uses it's pulp paper not cotton but it you know for what I'm doing it gets the job done I'm also kind of like jumping between inks uh, I'm using the using the Sumi ink to actually draw the image in. This particular thing was done with a, a fine liner. This picture was done with a fine liner. But you can see the shiny parts, you know, where the ink is kind of shiny at. That's all done with uh, Sumi ink. The tones are actually being done with the Blick Black Cat ink. So I, I think that's a little bit better for the tones. And because the Sumi ink, the whole thing about the Sumi ink is that it is, uh, it's like the blackest, darkest ink you can get. So, uh, and I'm pretty sure there's other stuff like, you know, Vortex and stuff like that. But uh, right now, this is what I have. And I'm finding that the, the actual tones are coming out better using the, using the Blick ink. So that works out and I have like a whole like well I don't have a whole bottle now because I've, I've used a lot of it but uh, I do have a nice amount of Blick ink and I'm going to be using that for the uh, for the tones I will at some points use alcohol marker to get some of the finer uh, some of the finer tones down and this way I'll have kind of an a better idea of how all this stuff works together I actually I started doing some swatching on, uh, on, I have another pad of paper like this. I just kind of do some swatching on and uh, I just want to see how this stuff will work together. So what I found was that the alcohol markers work pretty good, uh, you know, going over, going over the tones when they dry. So it looks real nice. I would have done that a little bit more in the last book, but I wasn't really secure in how how that all worked together, so I had to do a little bit more practice uh, with that. So this book is going to look better than that book. I'm still going to be doing a lot of the work with brush because I want to get back into the brush thing, and I really want to uh, work with that. But uh, other than that, this is uh, this is what you're going to be getting. The art's going to look a little bit more like this. Still going to be using the uh, more thicker lines uh, for this because uh, even though this is kind of thin line, I'm going to be using the more thicker lines because I want to have that brush, uh, that brush feels. It's going to be a lot more line variation. Uh, it's going to look a lot like the like the first issue as far as the lines and things like that. But uh, I got more. Uh, more brushes. I threw away my my imitation horsehair brushes uh, because they really were good for uh, for covering big spaces. And uh, in some cases, I liked uh, how they looked for doing line work. But it is the fact I actually uh, got line work out of those brushes uh, is something uh, in itself. But uh, I actually have a bunch a bunch of brushes here now. Uh, fine liner brushes and of course I'll just be uh, in some cases I'll just go ahead and use uh, the fine liner uh, but I have a bunch of the smaller round brushes uh, that I will use uh, 
uh, with, and then these are all synthetic brushes, so they're fine to use with uh, Sumi. As a matter of fact, I say that, but uh, horse, uh, like the animal hair brushes are probably better to use with Sumi ink, uh, but the animal hair brushes are also very expensive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to stick with these synthetic brushes, which are actually very cheap and uh, actually get the job done uh, pretty well. So uh, we're going to work with that. And there's another, um, I have some more brushes uh, around here, more than the ones I have in my hand. Like the, the one you see me using th here, this actually came with a, a uh, what is that stuff called? Gauche? Gouache. It's, uh, this came with a gouache set that I have, but uh, I like the way it lays down the ink, and I just said I'm going to use it for that. So uh, I have four brushes here that I'll be using uh, specifically, and uh, so I've been working on like a lot of stuff. I'm working on this. I'm also working on my manga style. I'm going to be getting another sketchbook today i have this is actually funny i've 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 become obsessed with these uh sketchbooks so i have a sketchbook that i'm going to get today it's probably going to be a pentallic traveler the recycled uh pentallic traveler that uh, everybody loves i saw it in the other art store like months ago and i got the nature sketch instead which i love that's as i showed you last time my favorite sketchbook and so now I'm going to get the uh, the Pentallic uh, Traveler. So each sketchbook is going to have its own things. So the Pentallic Traveler and the books like that, those are really going to be for pen and ink sketches, pencil, uh, color pencil, which I'm actually going to get some new color pencils and uh, start working with those again. And so that's the, the, the lighter paper is going to be for stuff like that. The Crescent Rendar stuff, which I have another Crescent Rendar on the way. This one's a hardback. The Crescent Rendar is going to be, uh, it's going to be pen and ink and alcohol marker. It's going to be specifically for pen, ink, and alcohol marker. So those are probably not going to get used as much. Those aren't going to be used at all because those are the Rendar books that I took back to the store. But they will be uh, wired prep because though they can stand up to everything, watercolor uh you know when you're doing wet media it's probably not the best for the rendar you know i would like to see a rendar watercolor book that would be nice or like a rendar book specifically made for watercolor that would be cool but i really like the rendar paper but it's good for pen ink and i saw somebody do some spray paint on it which i was like wow that's and it didn't bleed through. So, it, like I said, it does what it does. That's why I say it's the best sketchbook. Not necessarily my favorite, but it is, in my opinion, the best. So, uh, I have two of those. And I have a field artist on the way, which is a watercolor book. And that's about it. That's uh, going to be... I was thinking about getting a uh, one of those, the Burns and... What is that thing called? The um, Stillman Burns. The Stillman Burns sketchbook. I was going to get one of those. I'm going to at some point get a cotton sketchbook. Those are expensive as well. But I'm going to get those when I get deeper into actual watercoloring and ink wash. I do some ink wash, but most of my sketchbooks are fine with ink wash. And I'm not putting like a ton of water on those so I'm going to wait on that. And uh, especially if you've actually seen those watercolor uh, sketchbooks or the cotton ones, uh, especially the ones like the uh, Stillman Burns and the, uh, there's uh, Arches, uh, like the Arches, ridiculous. I mean, like price-wise, ridiculous. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be holding off on those. I was going to get another moleskin watercolor book. Uh, then I kind of was like, the hell am I going to be doing all this watercolor? So uh, I, you know, I pushed back. Uh, yeah, I, I chilled out on that as well. And uh, that's how I ended up getting the field artist. I was like, let's get the field artist and we're going to call it quits there on watercolor books. The Pentallic 
the Pentalic Traveler in the uh, my Canson mixed media book that should be good enough right now for watercolor and all that stuff so that's going to be about uh, all of the sketchbooks that I'm going to get for now and I think what I'll do you know each video is I'll go ahead and just kind of go through each book if you're wondering what is what's actually happening here this is a, like I said for Victor and Rebecca she is a member of the Defenders of Eden. She is the Fist of God's sister. She is a Jewish demon hunter. And he's having a conversation with her about the very powerful Dybbuk that he had to dispatch in the last issue. So she's going to kind of explain to him uh, what's going on and about the book and things like that because they also are, uh, you know, they also know a lot of the stuff that's going on in the city. So like if there's something big happening, they, they've got people that can say, hey, you know, we noticed this thing is going on. Even though Chicago is a city of three million people, they, you know, they, they have their people out there who are looking into this kind of stuff. And they have their little grapevine and everything. So all the people in the supernatural communities like the demon hunters, the uh, magic users, and, uh, you know, everybody's got their fillers out. And they kind of know something that's going on. So uh, she's kind of telling him what she knows, and uh, he's going to go from there and have some more encounters and things. Of course, there's going to be other stuff that jumps off in Hexcraft Mechanics, and uh, if you're reading that series, you'll see the, the things that happen here, particularly the stuff that happens with Dracula. He and Lady Battery are going to become a big problem in the Night Phoenix Press universe, so uh, you'll want to be there for that. A lot of stuff is happening. But uh, this is pretty much what the page is going to look like. I'm going to go in later and do a little bit more detailing with the uh, with an alcohol marker. I'm actually using, uh, just in case anybody wants to know, I'm using Blick Studio markers for my alcohol markers. And I'm probably going to uh, use some, uh, get some Uhuhu markers as well. But uh, this is it, guys. So... You guys take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters. Austin.